Hey friends, today I will be showing how I made a DIY entryway console table. Furniture is so specific to taste and personally, I used my imagination and took the time to draw and design a table that would fit and I knew I wanted to use some large baluster legs. I don't have the tools to make these so I did order these off of Amazon. I can leave a link in the description bar below if you're interested in ordering some in different sizes. And I did take the time to definitely make measure over and over again and then off to the big box store to pick up some wood. I picked up two 16 by 8 pieces of lumber and I cut them to 40 inches to fit the space as to where I'm going to be adding this in. And guys, I basically going to have my husband helping me with this. I don't know how to use a circular saw <laughs> and other items so you will see him jumping in from time to time and I appreciate him so much and I actually love doing DIYs with him but he's basically cutting these to measure for the space and um, the next step is besides cutting and measuring it we're gonna go ahead and um, cut the other pieces for the other areas and this is the area of the home while we'll be adding this console table in it's a smaller foyer but that doesn't mean that it cannot be styled and you know really made to look nice as you can see I have all of my pieces here and I just need to start assembling these now these will be going on the top and the bottom of the console table these are the two pieces that we cut to fit that will be going on the top so we're going to be gluing these together because I really wanted my table to have some chunkiness to it I really wanted to make a statement and for these large chunky balusters which are so pretty they're already refined and finished for me this is how I'm going to be styling these out I probably should have had a picture of what I designed but guys you will see the end result and it will look amazing so we're gonna go ahead and get started as to how I will be doing this first things first we're gonna go ahead head and glue these together with some wood glue then we're going to put clamps on them and let it sit for 24 hours so now is the next day we're going to go just start measuring out where we want to place these i knew exactly where i wanted them to be i'm just going to be adding in some adhesive and this you could do with wood glue this step you don't have to do i like to do it because it makes it sturdier and after we do this and you can do this with wood glue also we're using um, liquid nails we're going to go ahead and add on our pieces that we took the time to cut out and then we're going to screw them together So we let that sit up but we didn't use a pocket like pocket holes but instead we went and we just countersunk our screws very simple process and it saves a lot of time and you can see where it's right under the wood so you don't have to worry about it and it's perfect and it's very neat. We're just doing the same process with applying more adhesive. And these are the pieces that will, we already did the bottoms, now we're gonna be doing the areas and the pieces that will be connected to the actual table. So we're just following the same process. Now we're going to go ahead and do the same thing with countersinking those screws. We're doing this on each of the four sides of the balustrades. And this will be connecting the legs to the top of the table. 
Now that that's done, I'm going to go in with some wood filler, and this is a kind that you can use for easy solution for unfinished wood, which is what I have. It'll be ready to sand once it dries. It's color coded so you'll know when it's dry, and this is what you use to put in all of those little areas like the little knots in the wood or any areas where the wood has um, joined together, and it'll make it a very smooth um, look to making or ma making your furniture. As you can see, I'm going Going wherever the wood um, meets and just pushing it in and removing the excess and now I'm going to sand all of that down and it's going to look smooth and beautiful and I'm using 120 grit sandpaper to do this and I'm also going around the edges I wanted everything to be very smooth and it was pouring rain so I came in to paint. Now I'm going with Annie Sloan's chalk paint. You can use any paint you want. I love this paint because it's so easy to use. I'm using Athenian black because as you know, I'm going with black accents in my home. Um, my house is basically a very traditional Federalist style home and the colors on the outside are white and black so I'm just transitioning that into the home. And I'm just giving a good coat with the Annie Sloan's um, paintbrush but if you don't have an Annie Sloan's paintbrush, you wanna use Annie Sloan's chalk paint by all means. You can use a regular brush as you can see here. So guys, I did two coats. I really wanted it to be very, very um, coated very well and have a seamless look to it. And that's what I was going for. I'm going to let this cure overnight and come back and do a protective coat of wax. You can get clear wax. I went with a really pretty dark black wax from Annie Sloan's chalk paint. It's so smooth, it has the consistency of shortening. And you just apply a coat or two and buff it out and it's going to protect it. It's, it's basically waterproof and all you have to do is go in every once in a while and touch it up if you're in a high traffic area. But because this is going to be a console table, guys, buffing it out with those two coats is all I need. And I'm just buffing it out now. So guys, furniture is so specific to taste and I'm so happy with the way this turned out. I could not find it, so I used my imagination and made it and that's what makes this so special to me. I think it looks perfect. It's fitting the space to scale and I also bought a mirror that can go with it to really just bring it out. It has a black trim and it fits that space perfectly to scale and I love it. And it's something luxurious about baluster legs and it just takes a table and it's just bringing in both function but also makes a statement while it's being simplistic and refined and really bringing this space out so I hope you liked this video if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up hit the bell twice so you'll know whenever I upload a new video and guys I'll see you guys in the next video where I'll be showing you how I styled out my foyer in this table and thank you all for watching